First off, I want to compliment you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, you haven't pulled that Rule 12 and Rule 13 on us today. You've let us debate this. You've let us speak. And I appreciate that. And the people of Kentucky need to hear that. So thank you very much for allowing us to uh, vet this issue. I'd like to talk about a good old boy from Kentucky. I believe he was born in LaRue County. And he once said, upon the subject of education, I can only say that I view it as the most important subject which we as a people be engaged in. Wow. That was what, 150 years ago. And I think it still holds true. And you may say, well, Gre uh, Greer, you know, it's different now. I think having the best in teachers is what is best for education. And I think that our improvement in our test scores proves that. So in other words, Mr. Speaker, I would ask each person in this body to uh, pull the OWWAD bracelet out and say, what would Abe do? Because I think oh, Abe would want to want to support and retain the best of the best. You know, I can't vote for a bill that requires a physical note and actuarial na analysis. Uh, some here want to vote it on out without it. And we've had a very limited time to read this bill. Yet, Mr. Speaker, as I see some of the majority members speaking on this issue, I've seen their speeches. Many of them are nicely printed. <laughs> I think they had time to uh, prepare. We didn't. And I, I get it. You all could say, well, it used to be the shoe on the other foot. Okay. But you know, Mr. Speaker, I, I've seen our Commonwealth give away millions of dollars to a billionaire bringing in an aluminum company. Now, I'm glad to see the jobs being created in, in uh, that portion of our state. Yet, how important are our teachers? Uh, are they not as important enough to assure them that, that they've got a retirement plan that they can depend on? And gentlemen from Taylor, um, you and I go back a ways now and we're pretty good buddies, but you know, when you say the bill does an awful lot, that just doesn't tell me a whole lot. If the law means anything, we will be back in here real soon, I hope. And let me remind members of this body what the gentleman from Russell said in November 2016. It was a good month for you guys. Uh, and I think I've got that pulled up right here. Yeah, he said, there is nothing more frustrating than being asked to vote on legislation, whether it's in committee or out on the House floor, when you've not had a chance to review it, you've not had a chance to read it, and he said that practice has to stop. You know, Mr. Speaker, I, I think this is a fabricated crisis, and now uh, people in here think we've got a conceptual resolution. I need proof. I need proof before I can give it a yes vote. Mr. Speaker, I will be voting no on House Bill 151. Thank you.